good evening students now we want to now mesh we want now to show you how to mesh how to mesh the other part of the pinion the other part of the pinion remember i said the pinion is on this side the wheel is on this side we have constructed the wheel now we want to construct the other pinion so that we can show how they are meshing how the two are meshing as per the requirement of our question now Again, I told you for the for the for the wheel, you will also follow the, the 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 information given to you on the table. We have used the information on us on the on the wheel. Now we have to use the information on the wheel so as to construct the other part of the wheel. So from this point again, you again identify the PCD of the wheel. The PCD of the wheel. You first draw the PCD. The PCD of the wheel. The PCD of the wheel is one hundred and eight. One hundred and eight. Using your calculator. If it is 108 using your calculator, you you say 108 divided by 10, you find that it is 10.8 centimeters divided by 2, that will be 5.4, 5.4. So using your, your information given on your calculator, you pick your, 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 your ruler like this, you measure 5.4 on your ruler, which will be like this. That will be the 5.4 point. So 5.4, you stand on the PCD of the wheel. This is the PCD of the wheel. This was the PCD. This was the addendum, PCD, dedendum. This was the baseline that we identified. This was the PCD. This became the, this was the addendum, PCD, dedendum. This became the Q line that we constructed at this point, using this point. Now, from this point again, this point from the PCD, this point here, you mark, you make a mark here using the 5.4. 5.4 measurement that you have made. Using the 5.4 measurements that we have made, from this point here, you are draw your PCD of the wheel. Why? The PCD must touch the PCD of the machine gear. The PCD of the wheel and the PCD of the pinion must be at one point. This is the point. Then, from that point again, you pick your ruler. You pick your ruler like this. Pick your ruler like this from this point. Pick your ruler from this point, you draw your reference line like that. That is the PCD. So you again go back to your table, you look for the addendum circle diameter. Addendum circle diameter is 120 millimeters. 120 millimeters divided by 10, that is 120 divided by 10 will be 10 will be 12. Again, divided by 2 will be 6. 6. Then you pick your ruler. From your from from your calculations again, pick your ruler from your calculation. You measure six. That will be one to six centimeters like this. That becomes the addendum. You stand on this point like this. You construct like that. That becomes your addendum. Now you want to construct the addendum. You come back to your table again. What is our addendum? Is ninety four point one two. Ninety four point one two. You you stand here. You you take your calculator. Take your calculator very well, 94.1, 94.12 divided by 10, divided by 10, that will be 94.1. Then divided again by 2, this will be 4.78. 4.78, 4 you stand here, from this point you draw 4.7 like this, on this point. If this is now, this becomes our 4.7. You stand on this point that you have constructed again, you draw your addendum. So, here we have been able to achieve... Our addendum circle diameter, this is a PCD, and this is the addendum circle diameter. Then, you again draw the pressure angle. You go back to your table, you identify the pressure angle. This is the pressure angle. Our pressure angle for the pinion was 20. So, using your 20, you again construct a very nice, uh, very nicely. You again draw very nicely like this. Like you put your compass like this from this point. Put your 20. Put your 20. Put your 20, you can put it like this, that just in case you want to draw a very nice uh, accurate diagram, this will become 20. Go clockwise. So this will be 0, 1, 2. This point here becomes our 20 uh, pressure line or pressure angle. Using your compass, again, construct a line like this. Using construction line, construct a line like that. So from this point again, from this point again, where it intersects with the PCD, from this point, you measure it using your ruler. Put your zero centimeter on this point. Yes, that point. And this is 
5.4. That becomes, so 5.4 divided by 2 will be, 5.4 divided by 2 is 2.7. So you mark 2.7, it becomes 0, 1, 2. 2.7 will be at this point. 2.7 will be at this point. This is 2.7. You make a mark here. Then 2.7 again divided by 2 will be 1.35. 1.35. 1 1.35 will be at this point here. 1.35 will be at this point. You make a mark. Again, you pick now your ruler. Pick your ruler again. Pick your ruler again. Pick your ruler again. From this point here, again, you draw a semicircle that is intersecting the two sides like this. Like that. After you have drawn the semicircle, again, stand on this point again. From this point, measure. Measure the distance like that. Measure the distance like that. So you measure the distance like that. Turn your compass again. Turn there. Turn your pencil on the other side. Draw an arc to strike at that point. Where they intersect at this point, where they intersect, this becomes our Q. Then this, our Q is very important because it's a baseline. It helps us a lot in construction. So you stand again on the Q line like this. This is our Q line like this. From this point again, you strike, you draw a a, a, the, a, a semicircle which becomes our baseline. This is line Q. This is our base line. Then from this point now, after you have done all these things, you have been able not to identify, you now mesh. You now mesh that they may fit in between here. You have been told to draw two teeth that are meshing. So in meshing, you, you use your skills. Here, there is no formality. There is no other form. There is no formula to use. You just mesh it in between. But using your opinion, using the specification given for you in the opinion assembly. So what do we do at this particular juncture or at this particular point? You now draw perfectly well. You fit every part perfectly well. You have to fit everything well so that everything can fit. So what is our thickness? You go back to your diagram. What is our thickness? Our thickness is, our thickness was, the thickness was 9.42. 9.42, 9.42. 9.42 again divided by, two, by divided by 10 divided by 10 in decimeter will be 0 0.94. So our thickness for the pinion is 0 0.94. You again use your compass again 0 0.94 like this. That point will be like it will be this point. This will be 0 0.94 will be like that. That is our 0 0.94. 0 0.9. Then using your 0 0.5 stand on this point. Stand on this point. E katikati hapa. Stand on this point. Mark on the PCD. Mark on the PCD like that. Mark on the next part like that. Mark on the next part on this part like that. Mark maybe on the next part like that. Again, stand on the other side. Again, mark on the PCD like that, which will be this point here. Again, mark on this part. Again, mark on this part on the PCD. Again, mark on this part on the PCD using the same same formula using the same same formula we want to we want to mesh you want to fit in a teeth here you want to fit in a teeth here you want to fit another teeth here and we want to fit another teeth on this side so what do we do we do it very well and very nicely so you stand on this point again at this point over here with the same measurements you double your measurements you double your measurements you you double your measurements like this and draw you double the measurement like it is like this. You draw you now double it like this from this point again and mark on the P line. Mark on the Q line. Mark on the Q line like that. Then this on this Q line like this again from this point now strike an arc that does not exceed the Q line. Strike an arc like that. Again, okay, using your the same same measurement like from this point we are we have done that now. Again, on this next point, again, after you have doubled the measurement, again, mark on the Q-line like that. After you've marked on the Q-line, stand on this point, again, yes, strike an arc like this. Strike an arc. So we have two arcs. We have two arcs from this point and this point. We have two arcs from the same measurement. You can still use the same measurement from this point, again, like this, and mark, and mark, and, and mark, and mark, and mark on this part, so that you can draw a mark, you can draw an arc. Then, from that point, after you have identified all these points, 
We now want to have another arc, another, another intersection in this point and in this point. We have to have teeth in this point and this point. That's what I'm saying. In this, we don't use any formula. You just mesh it. You just fix it. But using the specification, using the details given to you, the mark is on this point and we want to fit an arc on this point. So you will stand on this part again, mark on the baseline like this from this part. After you've marked again on the baseline on that part, stand on that point, stand on that point again. Again, strike an arc, strike an arc, strike an arc, strike an arc like that. Just strike an arc like that, strike an arc like that, like that. Again, we want to fit in another one which is on this part. So, what do we do? We again, after you have stood here, after you have stood here, you stand here again from this point. You make an, uh, you 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 stand on this point, stand on this point again. Make an arc on the Q line. Then, after you have made an arc on the Q line like this, mm, no, sorry, you should make it using the other direction like this. You stand here, make a mark here, then you draw an arc like that then using your hands you can you can now draw the fillet you can now draw the fillet like that then here you can complete it like that you can complete it like that for clear for clear uh, for clear for clear for clearness you can maybe add another you can add another another teeth you can add another teeth you can put you can mark your q line on that point then draw here and arc that does not exceed the Q line like that. To so draw a Q line like that, again you can stand on this point, again draw a mark on the Q line like this, then on this part again draw an arc. To so have drawn an arc, you can fill in, you can fill in like that, so that here, here now this point will be, will be looking very nicely like this. You will have to fix it like that. So that at this point again, you will have something like that. So that is how to mesh gears. You can see the pinion has meshed with the wheel. For more videos, please subscribe. I will also show you how to draw cam profiles, how to draw different features, how to draw crank mechanism, and all those videos are here in my YouTube channel. Please subscribe.